Do, 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 do you like my voice? My syllable is do. And I'm pretty amazing paired up with Waller and the other vocal bugs. They call me bums because I'm always bumming around the place. I go best with some of the other vocal bugs like Waller, Humbug, and Doobie. But I go pretty well with just about anyone. I was bumming around the Undertale soundtrack, just had the whole thing playing in sequence while reading Homestuck, as you do. When I got to Temi Village, instantly taken aback with nostalgia, I took to Twitter. Every so often I remember Sim Tunes, and I think about its weirdness and all the pre-packaged music tracks, and I wonder how many people out there also grew up with this weird program bundled with Sim Ants. But I always know I can rest easy at night because Undertale surely introduced this gem of a digital audio workstation to the public, and 16 results on Google? Only 16? Surely there's a mistake. I spelled it wrong. No spaces, just sim tunes, right? Just, oh, oh good. Now we're up to 27. 27 total results on Google. Am I the only human on this bitch of an earth with any knowledge of Toby Fox's usage of sim tunes? The only human besides the hero who updated the Your Mileage May Vary page on TV Tropes, that is. I wish I had an inspiring story to tell about how this program introduced music creation into my childhood and drove me to becoming a musician and an author or some shit, but no, legitimately, this was always just a video game to me. I loved to watch the bugs move across the tracks and hear the prepackaged music, and I did, indeed, try to make songs with it back in the day, but it was much less a musical exercise and more a connect the dots type of deal. I basically just enjoyed making the bugs zoom through the tracks and loop back on themselves in interesting ways. I'm, I'm not discounting that this was probably influential on me in some way, but I, I have not become like a producer as a result of this. Apparently some people had thought that Toby Fox got the do sound from Mixcraft, as shown in this video used without permission by me right now. And that's a theory which has since been shot down according to a comment on that video. Wait, Toby, you do know these are from Sim Tunes, right? Toby Fox, you do know, right? Toby? Toby, you do know about Sim Tunes! Toby, have you ever played Sim Tunes? Toby? Toby, did you find these in some huge torrent of random abandonware musical sounds? Be honest. Well, regardless, that's that mystery solved. Not trying to make a huge deal about solving your mysteries for you. Someone should post this video somewhere that Undertale mysteries are discussed to let others know that this is a known thing and no longer a mystery. Sheesh. Anyway, somebody please tell me when the Undertale music sample list gets updated. Wait, Star Fox 64 do? What the hell are you talking about? Y'all. Y'all. Fucking Christ. Well, for what it's worth, SimTunes predates Star Fox 64 by like a year or whatever. It is now where you realize that this YouTube video could have easily been a Reddit post instead, but I don't use Reddit, I post YouTube videos. Hoi. Toshio EY, the creator of SimTunes, has made several other music programs as games. Sound Fantasy, a cancelled Super Famicom game, looked like it was basically a proto SimTunes. You, too, can become an expert in Toshio EY by going to his Wikipedia page, toshioey.wikipediapage.com probably. Link in the description for a two-hour talk he made at UCLA in 2017, because we're quarantined and we have literally nothing better to do! Anyway, back to SimTune's prepackaged tracks. Listen to this disco shit. This could be described as sample-based music, 
They just keep bouncing around the track. It takes them actually quite a long time to loop. I remember once in the past I recorded a full loop of it in Audacity or whatever, but I probably don't have that long around anywhere. All I have is this OBS recording of a virtual Windows XP and the sound quality through that many layers ain't great, friends. Bad. So much fucking static and crackling, I'm so sorry. I tried to get in touch with Toshio EY for this video, but unfortunately couldn't find an up-to-date email address. I wanted to ask him if he knew about Toby Fox and Undertale, and, and about if he created the do bug or bum bug sounds, or if they're sampled from somewhere. While trying to find this information out, I looked further into Electroplankton, a Toshio EY made sort of freeform musical art experience for the Nintendo DS. It's then I made the shocking realization that Electroplankton has representation within Super Smash Brothers? Specifically the stage Hanenbo and accompanying musical tracks. I wanted to know to what extent was Toshio EY involved with Smash? From the Wikipedia page for Electroplankton, Nintendo president Satoru Iwata explained that the unusual reason why director Toshio Iwai's name appears directly on Electroplankton's game packaging is because he alone had created it. Just like a one-man Nintendo DS creator, I guess. That's, that's pretty rad. The president of Nintendo, really out here repping for our boy Toshio, huh? According to the Nintendo fandom page for Toshio Iwai, he was an original game supervisor for Smash Bros. Ultimate? Wait, are you fucking serious? Mr. Simtoon supervised Smash Ultimate? I, I, is, is that what that fucking position means? I don't know if Toby Fox knows who Toshio Iwai is, but should I dare speculate? Could Toshio Iwai perhaps be familiar with Toby's work? We're winding down now. Remember to subscribe, like, and patron, whatever. More importantly, there's a link in the description to a .iso file that's free to download for the game. Also a link to uh, the free edition of Daemon Tools so that you can mount the image and get the supple flesh of Simtunes loaded onto your computer. Uh, but <laughs> don't expect it to work on anything newer than like literally Windows XP. I recommend downloading VirtualBox, link in the description, and creating a virtual Windows XP environment. You'll need a copy of Windows XP though, which you can get via, you guessed it, piracy. You can pirate it. No link in the description for that, as Pirate Bay mirrors go dead every couple months, it seems. But regardless, I wish you all the best of luck making Sim Tunes work on your computer. It's a weird gym and one of the more obscure games in the Sims universe. Thanks, and uh, the Sims got sands in Smash Bros.